Of course, one of the legacies of COVID is streaming. And a lot of us have been watching opera on stream because we haven't online, uh, on digital platforms, because we haven't been able to go to the live thing. Do you think that's going to be a, something that will last? Will we always see opera as, a, as a, a streamed activity as well as a live activity? It's interesting because um, I think during this COVID period, we've learned a lot about working digitally. You know, at the start, everyone put out their archives of existing performances pretty quickly, uh, made the big error of doing it without charge. Um, and we know from the stats we've been given that um, certainly people who watch it on their computers, they, they, they hang around for, I believe, on average 12 minutes. So it may look very great when you see how many views you've had, but when you really delve into the analytics and see how long they've been watching, it's not so encouraging. Which gave us pause for thought, because um, before you invest in creating new work, you have to be sure there's an audience for it who are going to you know, get, get out of it what you put in. Having said which, I think what we've learned as the months have gone on is there's a lot more potential than just capturing a performance, which was you know, the way up until now. And um, certainly at WNO, we, we captured uh, Poulenc's La, La Voix Humaine done in the bedroom of the singer of Claire Booth, who was singing, it was in her own room, with a number of cameras positioned around, like voyeurs watching. So I should just say La, La Voix Humaine, which is for a solo soprano, um, and it's very much an intimate piece that, that, that focuses on one singer. And, and what was interesting, by asking her to really sing it, not to mime it, um, and the fact that she was on her own in her bedroom, not, not even with an audience, meant she was able to sing it in an incredibly um, intimate fashion. Uh, and yet you got the, the pain that the character Elle was going through precisely because she was singing and not miming. So I thought it was a very, very successful um, filmed version of an opera but that's one person of course yes i mean perhaps aida and the chorus the big chorus numbers would not would not work so well but but you know the, the discussions we've been having at wno certainly about um maybe come spring you know, shooting something outdoors uh, but shot genuinely as a as a film you know you don't need a, a full hollywood um, film crew now to do this you can you know cameras are, are you know of such high quality now we can do this in a manageable way so we are actually looking at this and is this is this a, a thread we'd like to do in order to um you know to capture a new audience and the lesson is not to not to issue it as in a two-hour one block but actually to issue it in, in short installments maybe on a daily basis but um um to you know to engage people in that way but also we've been looking at things like um uh, we have something coming out uh, fairly soon uh, around a big piece called Migrations, where we've asked the writers to, re to reflect on art in a time of crisis, especially through a, a racial lens. And they've created their own pieces, um, some written, some we've set to music, as, uh, and, and we're, we're filming those, again, with the right filmic style for the piece it, itself. So, so that is a re that's a way we can embrace digital, not just thinking about putting AIDA on, but actually um, disseminating other work to a much wider audience. And of course, understanding that, that, the, that the live experience is, is very different from the filmic experience, that uh, perhaps one of the reasons why people only stay for 12 minutes on a, on, a, on, a, on a film, is a stream, is that it hasn't been made for that medium and exactly. therefore it doesn't really communicate well in that medium. That's exactly right. And you have to think about what, you know, what is the medium and um, pick subject matter which is pertinent to that, which is why La Vie Humaine is perfect, but, but other uh, pieces wouldn't be. But I think you know, the whole industry has thought about it. It's gone through the mistakes, which is a part of a learning path and um, are looking at, a, at a, a form of digital work which is different from, I think, we thought it would be back in March when we entered this crisis.